third corner with the red shots from Wales, Miguel Matthews. I've seen him see just explain to his trainer why he fell. Well, I know that a lot of boxing fans Well, Nas is giving away about five pounds, which is an awful lot he at, actually at, at the lower weights. With not a lot of difference, eight, seven and a half for Nas and eight, eight and a half for Matthews. I thought he still called it at eight, twelve. Oh, did he? Yeah, I think he did. But I think the, this guy, Matthews, you can see him as a gritty competitor. He won't be overawed by Nazi's reputation as being the young prospect of the year, even though it's a newly muted one title, but I think he'll be impressed by the guy's talent. Well, Nassim has had three fights. He's won all three of them inside the distance, and by coincidence, he's won all three in round two. This guy may be a bit more durable, Dave, because of the weight factor. Well, as I was about to say, a lot of boxing fans don't like all the, all the flash and the showboating, but... The, it's undeniable that this young man has a bucket full of talent, he really does. And tremendous speed and strength. <laughs> well, this is a, a real talented Young, as I described, Britain's answer to Hector Camacho. Only time will tell. Well, Matthews is not the most successful of fighters. Let's underline that right away. He's lost 36 times in his 50 contests. But, and it's a big but, he has only been stopped four times. He is, as Jimmy Mack said, very, very durable. Six rounds on Ertnaz. <laughs> It's a credit to the guy's talent that, you know, let's accept the fact he's only a flyaway, he can actually take on a man one or maybe two divisions above his, his own fighting weight. Well, I remember Charlie Magri had similar troubles finding opponents, and he, this young man is certainly the hardest punching British flyweight there's been since Charlie. I wish Charlie was still fighting, it'd be a hell of a fight between these two. Can you imagine? I'd pay to go and see that one. What a relaxed young man. You know, this is only his... Is it his third professional contest? His, his fourth. His fourth professional contest. He looks like a man who's been doing the professional side of the business for a lifetime. So relaxed and cool. Well, he boxed for Young England. Glittering amateur career. I noticed the British flyweight champion at his weight, Robbie Regan, looking on with great interest. Yes. Yes. Don't be surprised if Nurse throws out the challenge afterwards. It's been done before. He loves the stage. Well, you know, the funny thing is, Jimmy, he's not, um, Naz wouldn't be allowed to fight for the British title, he's too young. You've got to be 21. He actually told me he's going to win the world title, then come back and win the British later, because the ball won't let him fight for the British. It's a curious anomaly that he's 18, and as Jimmy quite rightly says, he, he could fight for a world title now, but he can't fight for a British title until he's 21. Totally composed. Look at that concentration, you know, the showboating for the crowd and selling himself the boxing business, a blood business at that. But there you see him being a professional, listening very, very carefully to the instructions of Mr. Brendan Ingle, who he's got absolutely 100% confidence and faith in. There's the other side of Naz, listening with intent. Good family, to see. Family originally comes from Yemen. Naz, as Yorkshire as pudding. 
in this round. I wonder whether we're going to make it four out of four with this young man. I'm sure he'll be looking for it. He told me not to throw people up for a round and then I'll know. That's just his confidence, obviously. Well, Nell's got him a right hand. He's a good finisher, Dave. And Matthew's back pedal went down. He'll be looking to end it now, and as he look, the speed of the punches will be coming. And Matthews, losing what experience he has now, he's, he's got to hang on for grim life. I've got to say, with someone as unorthodox in front of you as Naz, Matthews has been impressive. In the way he's, he, he's dealt with it, he's kept his composure, he's, he's tried to add the sneak shot into the, to the bargain, and he's tried to rough little Naz out of it when they get to close quarters. <laughs> little professional move there from Nazim, which Roy Francis, the referee, was quick to jump on. And pushed him straight in the face with a glove on the, the bottom of his glove. Well, he got caught with a good right hand up. <laughs> Left eye of, of Matthews almost looks closed. As a professional, are we going to see Nez enter new territory after this round? <laughs> Crazy question to ask. At this stage of any young man's career. I don't think this is going to go too much longer. That, that left eye is a mess. He's looking to end it now. There's a minute left. He could do it. He's got time and that eye really does look a mess, though, because you've already stated. He certainly won't hold up for six rounds. No way. Still comes back with a dangerous counter. <laughs> it looks as though Naz might be taken to a third round for the first time in his professional career. Yeah, I'm sure he will. He's Then again, maybe not. A little wigging, quite rightly too, from Roy Francis. We'll take another break here. Join us again in just a moment. Nassim Hamid looking intently to Brendan Ingle. We've just seen Nassim there. It's more of a clumping right hand come hook, which um, deposited his opponent on the canvas. Round three underway then, first time in his professional career that Ahmed has heard the start of the third round belt. He really is so unorthodox. And once again, Roy Francis taking a very, very close look at the eye. Good shots from Nazim, short, crisp left uppercuts, doubles them up at all times, and switches to the orthodox position as well. He's really doing a job on him now, though. Good body shot. Good decision from the referee. Third round. Oh, here comes the break dancing. So, fourth consecutive win, fourth consecutive stoppage. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, one minute and five seconds of round three, the referee has stopped the contest. And our prospect of the year does not let us down. He certainly is a prospect.
one who I'm going to look forward to watching throughout his career. Gives a buzz of excitement. Uh, it's fine being cocky if you've got something to be cocky about, and in my view, he's got and a little again, something. Whether it develops, minutes, that's up to him. Five. We'll take another break. The action continues. Join us back at the Grosvenor House Hotel in just a moment. <laughs> 